Do you own a website business with ads and just want to triple your ad revenue within one year? Imagine being able to do that. My clients absolutely love Ezoic because when they plug this tool in with their ads, they can increase their site's revenue with very little work. Well, maybe a few clicks of the mouse here and there, but to get exceptional results, like I'm talking three times your revenue, your ad revenue, you will need to focus on growing your site a little bit, which I'm going to get to in this video. But how does how does this actually work? How can one increase our ad revenue in just one year? And not just by a little bit, but by like tripling it. Well, there've been cases that Ezoic have tracked where they have more than 20 websites. They've actually proven they've tripled their ad revenue in just one year. But how is that possible? Well, overall, there are two main things that help those sites triple their ad revenue. And that is A, increasing their website traffic and B, better ad placements on their websites. Now, first off, let's the address number A here, and that is how to increase website traffic. Well, you've heard this before. The more traffic you get to your website, the more money you can make, which has some merit. But you don't just want any old traffic to your website, obviously. You want highly targeted traffic, visitors, that are so passionate about your niche that when they see your ads on your site, the likelihood of them clicking on those ads is actually high because those ads are very relevant to them. Now, this is done by creating exceptional content and having a better user experience on your website. And this can be done in a few different ways. Although combining all three that I've explained below, which I'm gonna get into, is a triple threat and will give you absolutely superior results. So the first one of those three is creating new content that ranks. Now, long ago, people had the perception that Google wanted you to actually update your site to keep rankings. And to do that, you needed to post new content regularly, right? People were actually posting every single day, and some still do, which I think is just insane. Now, it's not so much about regular content, but producing quality, over quantity. I'm sure you've heard this term overused so many times. Now, let me give you an example here. If you produce less content that is so exceptional that it's the best article on the internet for that certain topic, and you have a great keyword behind it, it's destined to get ranked. And the likelihood of this article getting shared around and linked to is very high. That means then your content will be deemed highly valuable, right? That's ranking higher, creating more exposure and generating more traffic to your website. Now this is quality traffic and qualified traffic, which, <clears throat> excuse me, is my suggestion by, like this is my suggestion, right? Is to take your time with creating your content. For example, if you had a goal of posting once per week, instead, take all of that time you would spend on creating multiple articles per month and focus all of that attention on creating just one extraordinary piece of content, and you'll end up with far, it's just a far better article. And the chances of you getting ranked higher is, is, is really, really high because you're doing so much more work on just one thing than multiple things. Now, that's the main thing, right? That's the first step in this triple threat to getting more traffic and, and a better site is creating quality content right? Quality far outweighs quantity. Now, the second is refine your original content and get ranked higher. So for those of you who have websites that have content older than a year, it's worth going back to some of your original posts and refining them enough to increase their rankings. Now, how this is done by starting out with some competitive research first, right? Once you find the best article on the internet on the certain topic or keyword your article is about and actually ranking for, then refine your original piece of content to be far stronger in terms of better value, excellent images, great layout, maybe even some video and some audio. Make that piece of content far better than your competition by adding in all those things right? And just by creating a superior piece of content, you should over time be able to rank higher and increase your traffic volume this way. What I'm talking about here is not going away and reinventing the wheel, 
is going away and looking at what's working and just making it better than your competitors, but having that on your website and just get ranked higher and get more traffic, right? This is the way that we need to start refining our pre-existing content by making it better and getting more quality traffic to our website. So that's number two in the triple threat. Number three is decrease bounce rate with better user design. For example, have you ever been to a website and you just struggle to find the navigation bar? <laughs> and even just trying to read the content is a nightmare and you have to zoom in and zoom out on forms and it's not, not laid out correctly or cleanly. I see this all the time and what do you think it urges me to do? Of course, I'm just freaking out of there. This is the same with your website. If you haven't got the best user friendliness website in your niche, right? Which is why if we're putting so much work into getting traffic to our website, it's certainly worth taking the time to make sure they feel at home when they arrive. Yeah. So I'm talking about having them feel welcomed when they come to your website and feel comfortable enough on the actual website, you know, with the navigation, the user design so much that they want to look at multiple pages and multiple posts and, and keep digging further and deeper and learning more or, entertaining themselves more on your website, whatever it's about. This actually decreases bounce rate and time on page, or sorry, increases time on page. To do this, and it should go without saying, that your website should be obviously mobile friendly. It should also be very easy to read your articles. You should be able to watch your videos on the site. You should be able to navigate through the website with ease and have minimal pop-ups or minimal pop-outs and minimal distractions. And overall, just a neat and tidy layout by providing only the necessary links on each page, right? Because too many links, you know, with too many links and places to go and things like that and distractions, right? We just cause our viewers to just get distracted and end up, you know, with this thing called decision fatigue, right? To a point that they just want to leave. They're just done. So by increasing the time on your page and decreasing the bounce rate, it shows to advertisers you actually have a great website. Your audience loves it and that your digital real estate is a piece of land that your advertisers would actually like to advertise on. So it's really important. So that's the first big picture of what we need to do to change our website to make sure it's really good for ads. The second thing is if we want to triple our ad revenue or at least increase our ad revenue over a certain period of time is you want to have better ad placements. So when you're advertising anywhere, right? Anybody that's an advertiser or anybody that is putting out advertisement anywhere, you want to have those ads not only in the easiest place for your traffic to view that ad or to see that ad, but also without a hindrance of it being in the way. So let me just give you an example. Okay, say you're driving on the motorway and you've been driving on the motorway for a while and you start to get hungry. Then you see a sign advertising a nearby restaurant by the side of the road, right? And you can either drive, drive past it or you can turn off and, and go away, right? And this and start eating on, or start looking or finding this restaurant to eat at, right? Now, this ad is exactly what you want exactly what you feel like eating. So you can clearly just see the ad or the sign in this case, and it's not in your way. It's just precisely what you need. And you can simply exit the motorway, go away and get it. You're happy, right? Now, imagine the shoe being on the foot, other foot, right? Imagine being on the motorway, hungry again, driving and wanting food, being hungry. As you keep driving, there's a sign right? And a big ad for food. It's boom, right smack in the middle of the motorway. You need to just brake heavily, you know, screech the brakes on in order not to crash into that ad or that sign and move around it without hopefully killing yourself, right? You then get frustrated. You get even hungrier and you end up leaving the motorway because you just can't stand being there anymore. There's signs and there's ads and things in the way. It's just not a good experience being there and it's not helping you get to your journey. It's not helping you get to your destination easily and enjoying that. So picture yourself or picture, sorry, your website as the motorway. You're helping people get 
to their destination, right? They could be either learning something or like could, you could just be entertaining them and their goal is to be entertained, right? You're helping people get to their destination through your website, which is the motorway. Now, whilst your traffic is there, you obviously want to help them and give them options to solve their problems and precisely at the right time when they need it. But obviously, without being such a hindrance that your ads are just pop-ups and pop-outs in the middle of the way that just got into real, some really good piece of content and just like, I just want this now and it's this, this ad that's frustrating in their way. It's, you can see that's just not good user design. And this is what your website should be doing, right? It should be easy to navigate. It should be easy to hop on and enjoy being on your site. And, you know, they leave your website when they need to, right? When they find something you can help them with on their journey, right, through an ad, then they can easily get, get to it right away at the time that they notice it as well. So how do you have ads on your website that are the right ads, right? And how do you have those ads being the right ads, but also in the right place at the right time without frustrating your traffic and actually increasing clicks to those ads, right? Without sending traffic off and having a higher bounce rate and a, and a lesser time on page. That's really important. That's why we have these two things we need to look at. The first one is discover which articles deliver the highest EPMV, right? Earnings per thousand viewer is, is what the acronym means. So you need to find out which articles and pages on your website have the highest earnings per thousand viewers, which is how much money your page or article makes per thousand viewer. So how this works is by finding not just the article or page with the highest amount of traffic. That's not how it works, right? Instead, the key is to find the pages and the articles where people are most likely to click on those ads, which means they're on that page or that article at a certain time throughout their journey, right, or their experience, which is going to cause them to want to further get help from you or the ads that you have on those pages. The cool thing about knowing this information, guys, is this prevents you from plastering ads all over your website in places that are going to just certainly frustrate your traffic and cause a higher bounce rate. So that's the first thing is discover which articles or pages have the highest earnings per thousand viewer. The second thing is having less ads can mean more money. Let me, let me say that again. Less ads can mean more money. And there's proof in the pudding that, you know, the sites that have less ads and actually make more money because they have less ads on. So finding those pages with the highest earnings per thousand viewer is a huge help, right? But we're just halfway there. So just because you know that people are more likely to click on those ads on these pages, right, that you found are the, the, have the highest earnings per thousand viewer, it does not mean that you need to go away and plaster six ads all over that one page, right? You could just have one ad on that one page and make more money, right? Like I said before, there've been cases where a page can make more money with only one ad on it rather than the total of all these six. So knowing the correct amount of ads on each page and where to specifically place those ads on those pages will really allow you to get the best results from your ads, not just for you as the website owner but also the advertiser to get more revenue as well which they can then in turn pay you so this is why ezoic is such a great platform right they help with all this ezoic was designed specifically to help website owners you know make more money from their ads by assisting with increasing your site's traffic having better user design on your website and more refined ad placements. So they assist with publishers with SEO tools that can allow your website to load faster, measure websites performance based on engagement, all those sorts of things, right? They've got SEO tools to help you grow your site's traffic and have better user experience on your site. And their ad tester tool they have that they've developed shows publishers what pages to place on their, or sorry, the ad tester tool shows publishers what pages they should be placing their ads on, okay? And how many ads to place on that, ad, that page exactly, where to place those ads, and to ensure that they're going to get the highest possible revenue from those ads by using the ad tester tool to 
first see where they should be placing these ads on which pages and how many. So this is why publishers have been able to triple their ad revenue in just one year with your Zoe. So if you're a content site owner and have experienced or haven't even heard of Exoic, then check them out. I've got a link for you in the description below. If you want to scale your website's ad revenue, I highly suggest using a tool like this because it uses ML, machine learning, and AI to ensure that your website is highly optimized to make the most amount of money from ads based on SEO, your traffic, and ad placements and how many ads and all the things I just explained to you right now in this video. So it's it's what I like to call, you know, getting more out of what you've already got, right? Getting everything you can out of everything you've already got. It's really important to understand. So I hope you found this valuable. If even if you don't go away and use Ezoic, then you at least know what you need to be doing to increase your ad revenue and make sure you can get better traffic as well. But coupled with an amazing tool like this, I think it's highly valuable and worth you checking out. If you guys have any questions for me at all, please just comment all of your questions below and I look forward to speaking to you guys soon.